everybody, it's Gamalad and welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village. In the last episode, we managed to find a certain bluebird that convinced Gorgon to help us out. And in this episode, if you, if you haven't noticed, we've actually gone a bit back in time. So, let's, let's rewind back to about, uh, December? Yeah, December. I finished recording that episode and put my 3DS down, forgetting to save. I had I was extremely busy the rest of the day, and I came back to see that my 3DS had died, and that's kind of why this series has been a bit of a hiatus because that was about two hours of progress or so, and I didn't really feel like going through all that again. And a lot of other things came up, like exams and work and things along those lines. And so here we are today. But you might be you might be asking, wait a minute, Gamma, why don't you just you know go back to what you were doing and continue recording from there? Why are you recording from this point in time? Well, dummy old me decides to let's buy the DLC before we do all that and I wanted to show you guys off some of the DLC so funny person to do let's go to bed right now and do the DLC because the characters we, we find for the DLC are similar to that of like you know new people moving into town so they'll show up regardless let's see what is gonna happen who do we meet first oh hello I dreamed about a girl she was weeping in sorrow deep below the surface of the earth oh okay does this mean we have to actually have to go down and dig for her are we gonna do we have to find Melanie? Question mark? Or is she gonna be outside of her house like nothing ever happened? Hey, she's outside of her house like nothing ever happened. Go figure. Uh hey, what are you doing? There's there. Aw, you're so cute. Oh, really? You don't have to say that. Oh, talking about the dog. Or a fox thing, whatever it is. Or cat. I don't even, I think he was mad at me for not knowing what it was. <laughs> Are you hungry? Wonder if I can fi find you anything to eat. Uh, hello there. Huh? Who are you? Um, I'm Gamma and I run this farm. Better question is, who are you? Um, so yeah, I'm Gamma and you are? Oh, you live there? Yep, this is my farm. Um, so who are you? Who cares where I came from? Um, and why do I have to tell you? That's none of your business. Well, excuse me, princess. You're on our farm. I think I have a right to know who you are and where you came from. You're on my property. <laughs> oh, hello, little guy. What's up? See, he likes me. Because you're because you're not a rude person. Because I mean, I'm not a rude person like you. But wild animals are usually afraid of humans. How did you do that? I run the farm here. The animals know me. This is Phil. So, so long, Phil. Say hi to the wife and kids. <laughs> so, yes. Now, who are you? Yeah, I do love animals. Do they come here often? Well, yeah, I run the farm. Wait, so you mean there are even more animals in your farm? I have to go see it. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, sure, but wait. Who are you? Okay, there we go. By the way, my name is Nova. What's yours? I'm Gamma for the third time. Gamma? Okay, I'll be sure to remember. Hmm? Something else bothering you? Hey, is it okay if I come by again? Yeah, sure, why not? Just don't be rude about it. Thanks, I'll see you see you again. Is that Nova Girl sure is a mysterious one. Really? I wouldn't have guessed it. I'm not sure how to explain it, but she has the same scent as us. Uh, that's kind of awkward. How would you know that? Were you smelling her while she wasn't looking? That's considered creepy. So anyway, yeah. But, you know, that's about it for that part. Um, we still have a bit more to show, actually, because I think some of the DLC packs we got gave us new items to put around our farm. And we have to actually have to go see Doc to buy them. So, what I'm going to do is, actually, do I have, do I have um, anything to sell? Because I'm actually quite broke in this game right now. Okay, I, oh, I've, okay, I got plenty of junk to sell, so we're gonna get on that momentarily. So, uh, yeah, so I've returned back to this game, Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village. We're very close to the end game, and I plan on re finishing this game, story at least. Will I show anything like a marriage and me getting a kid or things like that, be or beyond that? I'm not quite too sure on that. Um, I may even, I actually been wanting to go back and doing the more Story of Seasons video, because I dropped that like a rock for whatever reason. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll find a way to incorporate both of these. My original plan for this month, leading up to uh, Story of Seasons, Trio, uh, Tree, uh, for, uh, wow, Trio of Villages or something? I forgot the name of the game. 
was to actually do a Let's Play of Harvest Moon 64. Because I have the game right here next to me. I picked it up from, um, I bought it from, uh, excuse me, horse. I bought it from GameStop, actually. Um, and because I'm, I am an employee there, I get my discounts and stuff. I was able to buy the game quite cheaper from the market value of what this game is actually going for. Uh, the problem is, when I was going to do a test recording last night, because I just got my Aver Media, my splitter cable for the N64, I found everything but the Nintendo 64 itself. So, yeah. I'm short a Nintendo 64 from that Let's Play. I know a lot of people wanted me... I know a lot of people actually enjoy, love Harvest Moon 64 as one of their favorite games in the series. And I thought, you know, why not, you know, Let's Play it. And that was my original goal for that. Okay, you guys don't want me to do anything because you haven't eaten yet, but that's fine. And that, yeah, that was my goal for that. I was going to actually Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. But unfortunately, I'm lacking a Nintendo 64. I've left it under my bed for so long, knowing that, okay, if I ever need it, it'll be here, and it's gone. So, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, hopefully, I will find it, or if worse comes to worse, I'll pick up a new one on my local pawn shop where I bought this one from. Uh, they're about 40 bucks, so I'm not going to sweat too much about it. I mean, it's a lot of money, but hey, let's, let's think it's another series out there. It's Harvest Moon 64 was um, it has a special place in my heart. Um, it's a funny story I guess I'll talk about while I'm, you know, moving around trying to get stuff for the DLC. So, when I was about seven-ish or so, mm, this was, okay, well, well, however old I was in 2001 or 2002, yeah, about, yeah, about seven or, like, two, like 2002, 2003, like seven, when I was seven or eight years old, um, actually, no, way more, like seven or eight? Um, I'm trying to remember when I first played, I first, my first Harvest Moon game was, in fact, A Wonderful Life, so... Um, I'm trying to remember, think back to when this was actually happening. Um, what year was I in the fourth grade? <laughs> oh no. Well, when I was in fourth grade, which was like 2003 or something, or 2004, I don't remember. Um, I played Harvest Moon Wonderful Live, that's when I got into the series. And then, I found out there was a Harvest Moon game on the Nintendo 64. And I had, I had just gotten a Nintendo 64 for, um, either it was Christmas or for my birthday, I don't really remember which one it was from. But so I bought, I got Harvest Moon 64 from, um, my local GameStop. They had it for about, uh, 30 bucks. I bought it. And I, I played it, I really enjoyed it, but the problem was I found the game a bit too difficult for a Harvest Moon game, like compared to A Wonderful Life and Friends of Mineral Town, the game just felt very difficult. But that it, it had some sort of charm in it that I, I didn't know what it was. I just kept wanting to play it. But unfortunately, me being the, the little uh, young kid that I was, um, I decided to sell it to GameStop. And I got about $30, $40 for it. <laughs> thinking at the time, oh man, this is a lot of money. Now thinking today, oh man, that's not really a lot of money. It pays like one bill. <laughs> so... Yeah, and that basically from there, I've been trying to hunt down another copy of this game at a reasonable price because every time I've seen this game, it's either like between eighty or a hundred dollars. But thankfully, I did manage to find it at a very reasonable price at GameStop. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to shell out their, their retro game stuff. I'm just saying I, they had it for sale. After all my um, things were up like power up and discounts, it was like thirty dollars, so I wasn't gonna complain about you know. Um, about what I paid for this game, considering how much I sold it for when I was a kid. <laughs> so it's come full circle. I now own the game again, and I wanted to let's play it, but unfortunately, I'm lacking an N64, so I gotta drop money for another one. All right, Doc, um, can you open up? There we go, he's open now. But that's my story of, of between me and Harvest Moon 64. Hey, Doc, what are you up to, my good friend? Ha ha ha, what can Doc do for you? Um, let's buy an Insta building. Do you have any of the new ones since, you know, I bought the DLC? Looking through his stuff here. Got a lot of walls, 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 walls. Oh, yeah, there we go. The golden Doc statue and holy cow. Doc, I, I, listen. It's a statue of Doc, the greatest inventor. Bim, boom, kaboom. Listen, Doc. I don't know how, how what type of pristine, prestige you hold yourself in. But you are not worth a statue that's worth 100,000 gold. Harvest Goddess? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'd, I'd spend that for the Harvest Goddess. You, Doc? I'd give you about, I'd give you about 10. <laughs> so we can't actually afford that even if I wanted to. So I have to do, do a lot more farming. Get back on my farm game. It's not too hard in this game to make money, but... It's still, I just feel like... 
there's nothing to really sink your money into in this game. That's one of my biggest criticisms of, is of this series, or at least in that Sume Harvest Moon series. Like, you can make all this money, but it's like, I never feel like I have anything to sink it into. Like, in the mainline series, I always feel like, okay, I'm constantly sinking more money into um, more upgrades and things along those lines. And, yeah, that's pretty much where that goes. So, actually, um, I need to figure out that bird. I'm about to reach that cutscene again and see if I can find out about that bird and then go find what's his name and go bring him back up here. And I'll have to come back up tonight. GG. But, um, actually, I may just skip ahead on that and see what happens when I go back to bed again because I know I unlocked two characters. Um, because, they're, they're just, with the DLC, you unlock the new Bachelor and the new Bachelorette. Uh, we met the Bachelorette, Nova, and we haven't met the new Bachelor yet. The other, it's another, it's another mage, I think. So let me go ahead and save my progress right now. Actually, you know what? Nah, forget saving. I didn't really do too much. This works the merit saving, and if things do go wrong, I've only been recording for like 10 minutes, so I'm not going to sweat too much on this one. So let's go to sleep and see what happens. Will we find a new person that will come moving into our town, or did I just waste my time and should have just gone and waited till the evening and for the farm and stuff? Oh. That's the front of my house. Is somebody there? Is someone there? Who's there? Do I have to come out, go out like in the evening or something? Or is he going to be out there now? Because, you know, reasons. Oh, hello there. Magicians in fighting. ever listen to our master we're not allowed to have more than one magic user in a single territory <sighs> if it bothers you so much why don't you leave this place then hey i'm the world's number one witch what makes you which makes me superior pay me a little more respect i suggest you behave more maturely if you really want me to pay you more respect and oh he, he yep he vanished Hey, don't leave when I'm talking to you. Get back here. Okay. Well, that was quite the interesting thing. <laughs> I thought it, I'd test them to see if they notice me using my cloaking magic. However, it seems they both still lacking in their training. I clearly saw you, my dude. I clearly saw you. You weren't cloaked. They were just too busy fighting to notice you. Um, yo, what's up, my dude? Uh, can I help you? Huh? And who might you be? And how are you able to see me? Uh, you're just standing right there. Gamma! Fascinating! It feels as though you'd stand between the brink of fiction and reality. W was that a fourth wall joke? Because you kind of are. But I sense a strong will deep within your eyes. Ah, uh, excuse me, it's a bad habit of mine. I tend to get wrapped up in my own thoughts sometimes. My name is Edmund, and I am a mage. I know Gareth and Tabitha very well. Perhaps I should also mention that they may not welcome my presence here. Well, you know what? I welcome it, at least. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure no one appre uh, appreciates someone else knowing you too well, isn't that right? So, you stand between two worlds, and it seems our fates have crossed paths. I'm sure you'll meet again soon. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Well, he at least like a very pleasant person. I won't learn to do magic. I could be a mage if I really tried. Uh, so what's up, dude? Hey, Gamma, why do you keep talking to yourself like that? Are, 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 you, are you telling me you guys don't see the mages? Do you not see them? Like, seriously, huh? It's only me and you here. You need to get back. You need to get a hold of yourself. Wait, he was really was invisible? Oh. How awkward. New information. <laughs> oh, hello, dude. What's up? <laughs> hello. It's been a while, hasn't it? You feel a little different. I suppose it's proof you grow every day. I just met you 20 seconds ago, my dude. So, yeah, we met our two newest villagers in this town, um, Edmund and Nova. So, yeah, I have to apologize. This episode may be a bit, uh, cutting it a bit short. Mainly because, well, I have to go go ahead and continue progress the story again back to the point where it was um, last time. The only reason why you know I'm doing this here is so I can introduce some of the two new DLC characters. So hopefully, once we re-trigger that event with the um, 
Harvest Goddess and the um, Underworld King Dargon, we'll be able to progress the story again and move forward to finally restoring the rest of the farmland we have. So yeah, I apologize for the lack of videos in this series. I actually did have, have a bit of fun recording this. So next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village, we'll hopefully be back where we were in the last episode and maybe befriending more of the DLC characters and wooing our potential mate. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for future episodes in this series or leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the series so far and what else you guys would like to see in this series. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off. Thank <laughs> you.